I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a mic check. Uh, so this is Blake Fuller, B-L-A-K-E-F-U-L-L-E-R, from Braille Batteries. And we're here today at the LA Auto Show, the 2008 LA Auto Show, to talk a little bit about the vehicle that's in the Yokohama booth. It's a Nissan Altima Hybrid, which many people are familiar with. But the thing that makes this Altima Hybrid a little bit different is that it's actually a race car. And the entire concept of this car was to be able to think of what's racing going to be like in five years? What's it going to be like in 10 years? What can we take hybrids that are built today and actually turn them into race cars that we can use today to build some excitement? Because most of us are car nuts and we love to make our cars faster and also to make them better looking. So really, that's what this car is about. And we've had a great opportunity to partner with all these different companies in the industry to look at what can we do to make a car more efficient or more environmentally sound. We'll pick on a couple little things on the car. First of all, obviously, we're at the Yokohama booth. We approached Yokohama because with their new Neova tire they have, it's actually their highest traction tire they have for a high performance segment. But it's also the lowest rolling resistant tire in its segment. So it was a win-win for us. The next step we look at is the car's brakes. We actually went to Willwood and got lighter brakes and you go, well, don't you need brakes for a race car? Yes, but with a hybrid, you have the benefit of regeneration. So that actually takes some of the load off the braking. So we could run lighter brakes on the car, which helps offset what we're doing. Then we also spoke with Sparco. And Sparco, if you get a chance as you do a camera roll around, take a look at the seats. The seats are actually constructed of waste material from other seats, the trimming. Sometimes when you have a corner or an edge, you have something laying on the floor. So they pulled it all together to make a seat for us, which is wonderful. And then we've got to talk about the fact that the future. You know, this car actually was painted with DuPont paint that's low VOC, and it was painted by high school students. And that's what's so wonderful about this. We had high school students, we had from Eastridge High School Auto Body, we had UTI, the students from UTI, their Nissan program. This was actually the first hybrid they got to see in Florida because the hybrid, as you may know, is only sold in California as well as some of the New, New England states. And Everybody loved it because they got to see a hybrid and they got to pull it apart to make it a race car, right. which was really, really neat. And then, of course, you know, the, the title sponsor, which is, of course, who I come from and represent, is Braille Batteries. And what our involvement is, is that we have a, a really good stronghold on the upscale racing market segment. Many people may have not have heard of us, but our cars are used in the top teams in NASCAR, ALMS, NHRA, whether it be Formula Drift with the Drifting Championship or drag racing. The batteries are used out there a lot, but we wanted to see, well, what can we do for the future and what can we do to take our battery technology and use it in a hybrid? So what our goal is, is to be able to actually have a chargeable by a plug-in, whether it be a plug-in overnight or something that we have three or four battery packs stored, to be able to replace those packs and use that stored energy to make three or four laps around a racetrack. Currently, the car is extremely efficient in stop and go traffic, but when you're out there on a racetrack and really pushing the envelope, you get about one to two laps before the battery pack actually has gone through its stored energy. So what we're looking to do is increase that stored energy capacity, and one of the neat little side bits, even though it doesn't completely charge the battery pack, is our solar panel that's on the roof. We worked with Powerfilm Technologies, which is out of Iowa, and they have one of the first flexible solar panels. And what's so neat about that solar panel is that it only weighs about 10 ounces, but yet it puts about two amp hour charge into our 12 volt pack. That enables us to run five to 10 pound less battery in the car. And everything about the car's efficiency, even the wing on the back, we designed it with very low profile wing because downforce is important in motor racing, but you also don't want too much drag. We also have a, a rear valance that was made out of recycled building materials. If you take a look at it, it's wonderful. It's actually a new composite building material that they use in a lot of automobile dealerships for the walls. And it's, it's a composite of aluminum and almost like a carbon fiber, but it's not quite. And it was a wonderful scrap use that we had to be able to make a, a spoiler out of the back or actually a rear diffuser. So there's a lot of little tidbits as you walk around the car, take a look at it, that are very neat and kind of show what could be done with race cars. And this is not just a show car. This is actually something we're going to go out and the Redline Time Attack Series, which is a nationwide circuit, they actually are developing an alternative fuel and a hybrid class to be able to encourage people like ourselves to go out there and push the limits of these cars and help further the development because as we know most motor cars that are there today they were developed from racing or from somebody's passion and by having this passion hopefully we can get more people into the EV world.